Hi, my name is Samuel Grill. Today we're gonna to teach you how to commission and to adjust your precision fill. So there's a few basic things you wanna check before you can even get going with setting up your recipe. So I'm gonna tell you all the things you need to look at to make sure you're ready to go. So on the back of the machine, you have your air pressure gauge. This is also a regulator. If you pull up, you can adjust up or down. And when you push it down, it keeps that pressure. And you want to rotate in until you get to, on the inter red scale, you want to be 0.3 megapascals or MPA. If you don't have air pressure, it can't operate. Before you put any coffee into precision fill, you want to test out a few things to make sure it's working. So we're going to go into manual test mode from the main screen. And you're going to want to test first, um, this discharge. And the discharge button will turn green, and with the discharge button green, the discharge gate should open. Second thing you wanna check is the fast feed. And with the fast feed open, you should have the um, filling gate all the way open and the vibrator running. With medium, you'll have the filling gate half open and the vibrator running. And with slow, the filling gate will be totally closed and the vibrator will be running. And then we turn slow off, the vibrator should not be running. And then when you turn off the discharge gate, it should close the discharge gate. So let's go see what that looks like on the side of the roaster. We've invited our engineer, LNA Grill. This is our engineer, LNA Grill. Come on. So. Are you going to, so can you reach the buttons? Yeah. All right, I'll tell you which one to hit. So come over here. No, you come over here. And so this here is the discharge gate. It discharges the coffee from the weighing chamber into the bag. So can you please hit the discharge button? And this is what you want to see. When the discharge button is pushed, the gate opens. Um, next, we hit fast, and you're going to notice the gate opens all the way, lets coffee fall directly into the chamber. This is for fast filling. Would you hit medium? Medium, your gate is half open, and you can verify that your vibrator is running. Hit slow. The gate is closed. Vibrator's still running. Turn off slow. And vibrator's no longer running. So the way this operates is, is that you pick a target weight and you tip pick, you can adjust how much in advance of that target weight you want to go from fast to medium or medium to slow or slow to off. So everything is calculated is how much before that target weight. So now we're ready to set up some recipes. We have our coffee here in the hopper. Um, we're gonna use the lift to lift it up today, so we turn that on. It's gonna cycle through, that's normal. It'll shut off after cycling through the first time. When it's done releasing that coffee, it's gonna cycle on again. Grab the rest of the coffee. And then when that's done, you gotta let it go all the way through the cycle. It's really important you let it go all the way through the cycle, especially on older models. Newer models will drop the coffee even if you don't let it go all the way through the cycle. So if you look up in your sight glass, we have coffee up there now. We're gonna close the discharge gate and it's gonna zero back out. We're gonna exit out of this, and this is the, the home screen. Across the top here, you have um, status monitors. Run, fast, medium, slow, over and under tells you if you're over under the, the weight, and um, discharge here. We don't use fixed or clamps on, the, on this model. Um, you have your recipe, 250 grams. But what we're gonna do today is look at a more common recipe 
in the United States, which would be a 340 gram recipe. So let's go into look at um, 340 gram recipes. And uh, to do that, I first have to find out what recipes I have. So I'm gonna actually go back out of here. I can click on um, adjust and I can click up here and I can see what all my recipes are. So I have five pounds, one kilo, 454 grams, that's one pound. I have 12 ounce, 340 grams is recipe number five. Okay, so I wanna, I wanna go in and play around with recipe number five today. Um, I can do that directly from the adjust or I can go into the system menu and I could add new recipes if I wanted. But let's first just look at adjusting a, a recipe. So um, X out of here, click on adjust. I, I wanted that 340 gram recipe. So I click on the 340 gram recipe. Okay. What you're gonna see is my target weight is 340 grams, which is 12 ounces. My fast feed is 340. When your fast feed's 340, what that's gonna do is it's going to um, it's it's going to shut off your fast feed. 340 grams before 340 grams, <laughs> which means it's never gonna fast feed because 340 grams before 340 grams is, 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 is uh, zero. So it's gonna stop fast feeding at zero and it's gonna medium feed until 80 grams before 340. So that would be like when it hits 260 grams, it's gonna downshift from medium to slow and it's gonna do slow or fine feed um, until seven grams before the 340, which is 333 degrees. We don't know if this is a good recipe or not. We'll have to find out. So what we're gonna do is, I like to have uh, some kind of bucket like this up here. I like to have some kind of bucket up here to catch the beans so I don't have to worry about filling bags and all that. Um, so I exit out of here, I click start run. It's going to do medium and then it's gonna do slow and pretty decent recipe, 380 grams. But let's just say I'm gonna mess it up because I'm trying to teach you guys how to make a recipe. So I'm gonna tell you my methodology for making a recipe. So I'm first gonna um, make this recipe bad and then make it good again. So I'm gonna hit manual discharge. And I'm gonna show you what happens if you have your medium feed set too low. So let's say you're getting greedy and you want to fill really fast, you set your medium feed real low. I'm gonna show you what that would look like and how to identify a medium feed too slow setting. So you go into adjust. I'm gonna do this at 30 grams. 30 grams, that means it's gonna fill with 310. Well, that's too low of a setting. It doesn't have time to downshift to find properly. So you're gonna be all over the map. And the way we're gonna identify this is we're gonna go back out of here, we're gonna hit start running, and we're gonna see, I blew right past my 340 grams. Okay, so 374. Next time, 378, so I'm kind of going all over the map. Uh, each time's different and I'm blowing way past my target weight. If you're blowing way past your target weight and your weights are um, erratic, meaning they're not within two to four grams of each other, you have a medium speed problem. So I could sit here and adjust my fine feet all day long and it's not gonna help much. In fact, Here's a good sign you have your medium feed too high, is if I hit adjust, and if I take my fine feed as low as it can go, which is zero, um, or, or even better, let's say I increase it up really high, like 20 grams. This should, if you increase your fine feed, you actually should lower your end weight, because this is how much before your target weight you're stopping. So if I stop sooner, I should have less weight, right? 
So I'm gonna put a bigger number here and it should decrease my weight. Let's see if it decreases it by 13 grams. If it's a fine feed problem, if I increase this by 13 grams, it should decrease my weight by 13 grams. So let's see if that actually works, works itself out. So I, I'm hitting the pedal, dropping that. It's running, medium feed, goes to slow feed. And it lowered it a little bit but it didn't really lower it as much as we need all the way to 340 grams. And I could keep adjusting it. So I go, man, I still wanna reduce that down by another 26 grams. So I go in here and this time I'm gonna even do more, I'm gonna do 30 grams. And what you're gonna see is it doesn't really matter much because the problem's actually not with my fine feet. I'm, I'm adjusting the wrong, the wrong thing, and, and now I'm back up to six, seven. So no matter how much I adjust up my fine feed, I'm gonna overshoot. The only way to solve this problem, and the way I know that the only way is to solve it is fine feed isn't doing anything, and my numbers are erratic. If you have those two things, then you need to increase your medium speed. So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna go in and adjust my recipe, and I'm gonna start increasing this up. And, um, right now we're at 30, so I'm gonna try 40. I'm slowly gonna increase this until I'm gonna put my fine feed on back what it was originally. I'm gonna slowly adjust my medium feed until it's enough. And then I'm gonna go a little more just for a margin of safety. So exit out of there, I'm at 40 grams, let's see what happens. So it's running on medium, still overshooting, overshooting by 30 grams. Well, I kind of already know if it's overshooting by 30 grams, that's a good sign I need to increase my medium feed by 30 grams because it's inversely proportional. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go from 40 to 70 and let's see what happens. Now, it's only gonna fill on medium feed until 340 minus 70, which is 270. And at 270, it's gonna downshift. Let's see if that works any better. And sure enough, we're getting much closer. But if, but let's see, 344, that's four grams over. I'm right on. So it's a little bit erratic still. So four grams is not bad. We figure if it's five grams is still within standard, but now we're six grams over. So it's, it's a little bit erratic. So what I can do is give myself a little more margin of error. So I'm gonna stop that, adjust, and I'm gonna just give myself a uh, 80 gram margin to slow down and see if that works a little better. My guess is that's about the right Three forty. So that's how, that's how you know you're done. Is that you can consistently get the weight you want, and by consistently, usually if three times in a row I'm getting the the right weight plus or minus a few grams. You can see now we're much more consistent rather than having a range of kind of six grams. So the the problem was my medium feed. There we go. Three in a row, perfect. So that's how you recognize and fix a medium feed problem. But now let's talk about fine feed. Um, right now it's seven grams, which is perfect. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like if it's not perfect. Um, what would happen if your fine feed is too low? If your fine feed is too low, remember this is how far in advance of your target you stop feeding. So if I have too low of a fine feed, I'm gonna overshoot my weight. If I have too high of a fine feed or slow feed, it's gonna undershoot my weight. This is how far in advance you're stopping. Um, you can think of it uh, that way. So I, I, I have too low of a fine feed, and here's how you're gonna recognize too high of a fine feed. I'm gonna start running again, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna overshoot. 
So it's overshooting by six to eight grams. And you're gonna notice this time, it's gonna overshoot just like last time, but this time, it's overshooting to the same number every time. If it overshoots the same number every time, it's a slow fee problem. If it overshoots to uh, an inconsistent number, more than two grams difference or four grams difference, then you have a medium speed in, uh, too low problem. So right now, my fine feed's too low, but it's hitting the same target every time at 346. So if I'm trying to hit 340 and I'm overshooting by six to eight grams, how would I hit 340? I need to slow down sooner. Well, I need to slow down exactly this many grams sooner. So if I'm overshooting by six to seven, I hit stop running adjust and I just slow down a little sooner rather than slowing down zero grams before I hit, I slow down, you know, it looked like to me six to eight, so I'm gonna put in seven. And I got seven grams in there. And uh, we're gonna do this one more time, and that should get us back correct. So we're back within two grams, that's not bad. Now let's look at what would happen if we have a f slow fine feed too, too big or too big of a number. In this case, it's gonna stop feeding and I increase it by 13 grams. Well, I could, we already know what's gonna happen. We're gonna be 13 grams under our target weight. So I'm gonna exit back out of there. And, uh, but here's where it gets interesting. Um, with overshooting, it's always gram per gram. With undershooting, it's not necessarily because your medium feed could be affecting you. So it's not necessarily gonna be exactly 13 grams underweight. In fact, uh, I think it might be more than that, but let's just see what happens. And it's eventually gonna run out of coffee, and when it does, and it's underweight but not by 13 grams because the medium feed is, is still feeding at that point. But I'm gonna go back in, readjust back to my seven grams. And these numbers could vary. Uh, your medium feed could be anywhere from 70 to 80 grams all the way up to 110 grams. But that's never gonna be outside of that range. Your fine feed could be anywhere from six to 20 grams, but you're never really gonna see it be much more than 20. Your fast feed is gonna be somewhere between 800 um, and uh, one kilo. So if you're gonna do under a kilo bag, you're not really using fast feed. You don't need to use fast feed. Fast feed is really for um, bigger bags, like a five pound bag, which is 2.268 kilos. So we're done with small bags. Now let's go set up a recipe with big bags using Fast feed. So if you have, if you're not zeroed out, you want to hit manual discharge, dump any beans out, and then you want to zero. Okay, we've got zeroed out, we're ready to start again. And I want to add a new recipe. But before I add a recipe, I need to know what recipes I have to make sure that I don't need that recipe. And I need to know how many of the recipe numbers I've used. So right now, I've used recipe number one through nine, and I wanna make a new recipe, which the next available is recipe 10, and it's gonna be called two pounds. So I always like to include the grams in there as well, since that's how we set everything up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in um, to system maintenance, recipe set, we're gonna click here and we're gonna make a new recipe, recipe number 10, and make it shown. And we're gonna name it, we're gonna switch from Chinese to English to capital, I like capital letter. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do um, two pounds. So two, and that is 
um, 908 grams. 908 grams. Okay. So we're going to exit. We're going to exit. We're going to go in, and that's what we're using. We're using a two pound recipe. Let's go ahead and set that recipe up. The target weight is going to be 908 grams. We don't really want any fast feed for this small of a, of a bag. Uh, one kilo normally being the cutoff. Um, medium feed, we already know from previous experience that 80 works pretty good and 70 works pretty good, or uh, seven works pretty good for fine feed. And once you figure those out, from machine to machine, it's gonna vary a lot. Your machine, like I said, may be anywhere from seven to 20. Medium feed may be anywhere from 80 to 110, 120. Fast feed may be anywhere from 450 to a kilo, which is a pretty wide range. But your fast feed is always your bag weight if you're under a kilo. So we exit out of there. We're gonna see if this works. So we start running. And you'll see because we have fast the same, it goes right into medium feed. Then it switches to fine feed. And if you hit the pedal before it's done, it will go ahead and drop the beans or discharge the beans as soon as it hits. 908 grams. So that's how the system works. Um, once you know a recipe, um, you could, should be able to duplicate that recipe and create any other recipes for any other bag sizes. Um, there's one other potential problem we haven't gone over that's fairly rare, but I'm gonna go ahead and mention it. What happens if for some reason the actual internal scale of the machine wasn't working? Um, if you're having problems and you think the scale itself is not working inside the machine, um, one of the things you can do to troubleshoot is to get a scale that's hopefully calibrated well and zero out your container and go ahead and get a container bigger than your coffee, hopefully. So we're gonna get a different recipe. We're gonna get, go back to the 340 gram recipe that we are using before. And on the 340 gram recipe we are using before, we're gonna manually discharge this, start running. And we're gonna test, does this weight match the weight that we're seeing on the scale? I did lose a couple beans, so it may be a little off. But yeah, 339, and I lost a couple beans. So if we're within a gram, that's considered very good on this scale. So that's just a, another double check you can do to make sure that your, your internal scale in your machine is calibrated with your internal scale. And the reason I say one gram is, we don't know that that thing is calibrated within a gram either. You know, you could buy a calibrating weight that's exactly a specific weight. Thank you so much for watching this video about how to commission and adjust your precision fill. Uh, we hope you enjoy using it. Thank you so much.